going on YouTube? It's Dan from the James Prigioni YouTube channel. Coming to you live from Jersey. It's August 25th today, guys. I'm going to show you what the food forest looks like. Here we go. Starting out a little different than usual. I'm outside the food forest right now along the fence. Greenhouse right there. You can barely even see it right now because the grapes have taken over. But this new fence we put in has provided a great trellis for us. A really multifunctional. Keeps the animals out. And great trellis. Look at that. We got cucumbers growing right underneath the grapes. Beautiful. We got some cucumbers grown for, hanging right off the grapevine here. Beautiful cucumbers. We got grapes right up here. Oof. Gotta try one of those. Oof. One fell, but it's okay. Oh, these are good. Oh, yeah. Those are the Catawba grapes. Seedless. Some self seed zinnias. Beads working on them. The zinnias are so beautiful. Got more cucumbers. This fence here. This is the fence that I used to have the uh, peas on. And then I put the cucumbers on right after. This is my favorite kind of cucumber here. This like Japanese variety. It's got the best crisp and the best flavor. Right there. So yeah, I had peas growing here before. And then, uh, then I planted cucumbers right after. It worked out perfect because in the back corner of the garden, I was getting a lot of cucumbers a couple weeks ago, but production has really slowed down. And as that slowed down, this one's really picked up. So that, having that succession of planting is a good idea to extend the length of your yield and also your overall yield. Some more cucumbers here. And then we we'll pickling. A lot of pickling cucumbers ready, so tomorrow will be a day of pickling. Hazelnut looks great. And these are all loaded with the pickling cucumbers, but this is a great size. So tomorrow that'll be perfect. Take into the food forest now. Behind the uh, shed now. Behind the greenhouse. Look at the cucumbers back there. Throwing it over to the neighbors. Two huge ones. Another back, big one back there. Another big one down there. It's like five right there. Loaded in there. They've taken over this tomato plant. <laughs> Gotta get rid of this. Weed right here. Wild spinach. Looks like it's getting a little hot back here. I can see things, same things wilting. Tomatoes still doing well though, and the, this orange tomato is my favorite variety. I mean, so delicious. I'm gonna find out the exact variety, guys, and let you know because it's so good. Look at that grape arbor right over the greenhouse. It's taking over, taking over the plum tree next to it too. Such a vigorous plant, grapes. More grapes here, doing real well. Peach trees doing real well, putting on some nice growth. Blackberries are all done. It's nice in here, guys, because you know, with all the trees getting bigger, it's providing some good shade at the hot part of the day. As you can see, I'm not able to grow uh, a lot of annuals in some of these spots, but I have everything timed out pretty well where I'm still getting gonna be able to get good production out of these strawberries even though I got the grapes over top of it so I've got a video that I'm putting out uh, or that I put out called the importance of timing and that's gonna explain a lot of uh, a lot of a couple important things and give you guys some good ideas about timing in a food forest the beans uh, pole beans have taken over that that pear tree it's crazy a lot of production back here. You can see the watermelons. I put a couple of watermelons in and they've, now that it's late in the summer, it's gotten hot, they've trellised. I'm mean, not trellised, they've just climbed all over the ground, taking over the whole ground. Some of the peach trees are huge. I really think I'm gonna get a good harvest next year. Just gotta get rid of these borers and, uh, and I'll be set. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, it feels like a forest in here. Exactly what I was going for. Asparagus is getting huge underneath that peach tree. Asparagus here is doing well. Almond tree looks like it's still trying to grow. They're finishing up and just actually just starting to send out their runners and extend their area. This is when the grape is really.